Um, I got a call from a, a good friend of mine who's uh, um, helping out a friend of his and said that uh, there was a number of cars on this property up in uh, Northern California near Santa Cruz and um, uh, cars all over the property in various conditions, various states. What kind of car is that under there? I have no idea. No clue. But one in particular um, is in a garage, really the only one that's um, worth saving and uh, luckily the only one that made it to a garage um, is a De Tommaso Pantera, which is an Italian coach-built car with American power and drivetrain. This one here, we've gotten a small peek at before, just through a couple photographs. But today we are gonna break open this garage, step inside, and see exactly what we're gonna find. Pretty exciting getting this car back into uh, complete form. Um, we definitely dove down into the rabbit hole, uh, searching for this car's history, obtaining the Marty report, finding out that this car was originally yellow, purchased by the original owner, and painted and constructed in the way that we just found it here. Pretty lucky, all things considered, of how the paint and body presents today, considering um, how we found the car with debris all the way up to the doors and all the way up to the windows. Inside the cabin was just collecting dust and collecting parts over the years. Um, we spent a lot of time getting this car prepared, stripping it down, uh, getting the car as clean as possible to kind of see what we have and we're pretty pleased overall. So the intention was to make this a weekend driver, a track car, and also just be involved in spirited drives with the Pantera Club. So we see some of these changes that were to the owner's taste, including the front deck lid being painted black, the rear deck lid being painted black, these louvers or scoops being added, which is like a GTS, and also the rear Campagnola oversized rims. We did find the original seats inside the garage. All the gauges, um, dash, carpeting, all confirmed to be original. Everything really appears to be working as well. We did hook up power, and we're pleasantly surprised at all the fans, all the lights, uh, window switches, everything operated as such. Um, so it was pretty exciting to see the car kind of come alive. So as far as we know, in terms of the history, the motor was pulled sometime after 1991 and rebuilt. This does fit the criteria and the specifications of a 1971 351 Cleveland with the larger portered heads. So the motor was rebuilt at that time, completely stripped down, rebuilt, painted, put back together, but unfortunately sat. So we don't know the status of the motor completely. Fortunately, the motor does spin, and as far as we know, it wouldn't be very complicated to rebuild and put back together.
This is a two owner California car delivered new to San Francisco, purchased by the original owner in the Bay Area, who then sold it to the current owner. Uh, it does have one color change, again, from yellow to the two-tone paint scheme, but as you can tell, the paint and body is in excellent condition with only minor evidence of rust. All things considered, this is an excellent find and a prime example for either your own restoration project, back to original, or keeping it as is and making it one awesome runner and driver.